us continue our Tour Connect video since we uh, have to roll to uh, we have to roll in game to be able to do Tour Connect. I think I'm going to follow this up with some more stuff on Tour Connect. Uh, We're on a bell conductor. Um, and depending, I might get a like a camera mount. I might actually record uh, a second video on Battle Conductor with online player and whatnot. But um, the first time I played, this was the roll thing for um, Battle Conductor. So we'll kind of watch this. This is, you know, it's related enough to Card Connect that I think, uh, you know, it's worth showing. Again, this may end up being part of the uh, Battle Conductor video. And if so, hello. But uh, here we go. Then each time you go through the through one game, it looks like the first time it gave me five free rolls uh, with my card, and then now each time it looks like I have to pay five hundred yen in order to do these rolls. So this is technically what you would end up doing normally on card deck, where you have to pay for a roll, uh, but it's done in the battle conductor itself. So uh, here we go. And I don't know, I think it may be, I, I didn't quite read it, but like, I think if you roll five, you get like a better chance of a rarer character or something like that. So, uh, I guess there's, there's two tiers to the rolling. First, you've got to roll the character that you want on Battle Conductor, then you have to roll the rarity of it that you want on the card connector itself. So anyway, this part is the rolls. Oh, and I guess it comes with uh, five potions, or maybe for rearing something, or rolling something rare, or something like that, but uh, that's interesting. Anyway, that's the, uh, that's the card connect, so we'll be right back. That's the IR grid um, inside the camera area, and I think it just it reflects up, but it's uh, kind of cool just how much you can pick up on the camera itself. Um, you can see it with the naked eye too, but uh, not as well. Uh, definitely though, this camera picks it up a lot better. So, I did play a couple games, not much, but um, I didn't really get a chance to test our cards, mainly because uh, like I was taking a very long time to figure things out and uh, and stuff like that. So, anyway, I got Judd a good number of cards here and I'm going to give her So, over here. The big thing that I found out pretty quickly is, like many other games, there's a lot of, um, you know, they have a cost. So I don't know if it says, yeah, on the back here, this one, the cost is 860. It's a, a ultra rare. Uh, you come down to the common ones and you have to see, like, the cost of 70. So I assume, like, over time, that's going to change. But um, over here, I've got... Um, It'll show like the cost. If I want to put this, I can put this ultra rare on. And uh, it actually wasn't letting me, like if I just want to put nothing but secret rares after that, they'll come up, but I'm over like this, this star cost here. It's like three cost over. I don't know uh, what determines that. So like every time I was trying, I was just like running out of time. So let's say I take this one off. Or it's actually not letting me take anything off. Uh, see, this is kind of the problem I was running into trying to uh, trying to do this. I don't seem to have an easy way to 
just canceled. There, okay, see that? That actually put me back under cost, but um, yeah, at any rate, it was it was not giving me time to like go back and cancel anything. So anyway, I replaced two of them, and now I have one ultra rare and, and rare whatever. So anyway, I've now scanned that card. Um, the rest of them, I guess, we can't, but at least one of them we got it. Actually, I think we didn't really look at this earlier, but these are kind of like their promotions that they have right now. Um, by the way. So there's like some of the top players that they got. Interesting that they have an uh, Otika doll crossover. I haven't seen a single Otika doll machine in, in uh, Japan. But, uh, you know, it's still there. Again, I don't even remember what we did before, but let's take a look at the new one that we just got. This is the Ultra Rare. And I've gotten a lot of parts since we got her. Uh, looks like we've got a lot of these listed as rental parts. We've got a couple that are unlocked. Um, she's just wearing all the other stuff. And there she's... Oh, that's... No, no, no. So the cost... Uh, oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's actually a star cost. So I think that probably doesn't change. So like her star cost is is four. And if I try to, I, I, you know, I think your your max is eight. So that's I have two with three. So that's why I could use that. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So her cost is that she can she can actually equip a lot of shit uh, as opposed to like that normal. That we were looking at her, like her her cost is seventy. So like she can't really equip that much. up as we can. <laughs> so yeah, there's some expensive gear there. What else we got? anything pricier. Huh. Um. Clipper with like the looted shit, but like I wonder, you know, as expensive as that is, I wonder if the gear is like any better or whatever. Yeah. But, let's see. What other you know, let's give it this. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like you know having a having an ultra rare there you can the, the major benefit is you can equip a ton of stuff. Uh, so you can double equip that. Still not even not even close to maxed out. That's on, what else do we have? Legs don't really have anything expensive on it yet. Let's give her... That. Uh, uh, now we're over here. Maybe we should do something cheaper for the legs. And then get here. There, and then she's back then. But at any rate, I actually wasn't really paying attention too much to want to change some of the stats, but that went up quite a bit. Um, so that's that. Um, I wonder, and, and I'll find out I think after this, whether these cards like will stay permanently on my account, um, or if I have to like load the free piece the card again to load the character. It, it seemed um, when I was doing Fate Grand Order that. If you don't have the physical part, you're not going to be able to use that regardless how much you've leveled the character. Um, 
I want to say that's probably how this works too. Uh, that would be that would be sensical, at least. But um, let's take a look at this. We're running a little bit out of time. I will add more time if I have to, um, just to kind of look through some of these options. Because I think we're not really like for this section, we're not really like looking at the battle. We just want to see um, what we can do here. I'm gonna see actually. I'm just going to extend the time now so that we can uh, look at this a little bit more. See if any of this is going to load. The card stuff. So here's taking photos. Yeah, so this stuff is, um, is stuff that we don't have on, you know, on our tab yet. So you can check this out. I kind of wonder also if you can like print pictures from this or something because I know there's the photo option so maybe after this we'll go back to card maker and uh, see what we can do with that. Okay so this is just, just a walking simulator basically. I think this, this shows uh, what is like 
not the replay shown or whatever, that's what we call it. sums it up here um i think from here like i'll wrap up this video by um you know doing one last shot and uh yeah so i'll be right back so i don't remember what we did earlier in the video if i hadn't done any combat for this one uh, i'm just gonna do an offline raid battle
I've heard that it's it's a bit of a grind and definitely a, a money sink to play. So. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna go um, spend my gotcha rolls and uh, see you soon.
normal. Oh, and one six, so we have 50 controls here. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just wait for these to print up and, uh, Oh, thanks for watching this video on Battle Conductor. I know, like, I don't really have a lot to give yet, but, um... But yeah, so those are gonna print up, but, uh, yeah, no, I noticed, um, them going around putting up a lot of these notices, so, um, like, Sword Art Online got these as well. Um... But, uh, yeah, I think that's all I really got to say on, uh, on Battle Conductor, and, uh... You know, maybe when we got more support, if I actually come up with a lot more, like, information about the game, learn about it more, I'll, uh, I'll come back to it then. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.